Hello there everyone and welcome to another one of my uniform videos. So we have a recent influx of quite a few new viewers due to me releasing the trailer for the World War I mod for Napoleon Total War. The Great War Mod 6.0. So we've got quite a few new viewers so I thought I'd go ahead and include you guys or clue you in on the fact that I also do collect uniforms from World War I, but not only World War I. But in this case, it fits perfectly with the kind of theme we're going in here towards the 25th of December when the mod is released. So I have been able, anyways, with all of that said, I have been able to acquire a new item for my collection in this case. It's a reproduction gas mask. Now, the the tin, I've already had there for quite a while, but I didn't have anything to put into it. But now, thanks to Nestoff, I'll put the link down in the description, I was able to gain, or buy, gain, I was able to buy a gas mask for it. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and open the tin. And voila! It's the German 1917 gas mask. If you've ever played Verdun, another World War One game, uh, this is the mask you use. You can kind of see through the the the, um, the eye holes here. Pretty iconic. Uh, for me, it doesn't actually line up with the center hole, so I'm looking through the top one. I don't know. One size fits all. Does it? Clearly not. Or maybe it doesn't, it, it's not meant to go into the center hole. It works fine anyways. I can kind of see um, through it anyways. I mean, it limits your view on the side, the periphery. So it limits it to about 90 degrees, I think, roughly. Forward like that. And same up and down. But I think periphery is the, the one thing you need to worry about. But you're running in a trench. There isn't a lot. There isn't a big view to look at. Anyways, so what I'm trying to do today is uh, oftentimes when I post my sort of more late stage war stuff for my uniforms, it's always that funny comment about haha, you need to shave your mustache, otherwise the gas mask won't fit or it won't, uh, it won't create a proper seal and you'll die. Uh, because you'll inhale, inhale the toxic fumes uh, and you'll die. So what I've gone ahead and thought I'd do for you today is I'd wear it and we'll see if it is, if it seals correctly or not. Because I still want to talk with you guys, I'm going to remove the filter on the front there isn't actually in anything here, it's just nothing in there. So nothing actually filters it. But I thought if there's a hole straight through, it might be easier for me to still talk with you guys while I'm wearing it. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to quickly put it on here. We've got a few straps and the thing I'm about Bobby's hanging around. But I'm just going to, for this quickly, I'm just going to, we're just checking the seal. So it's going to do wonders for my hair as well. So that hairstyle is definitely going to be something to look out for. So let's go ahead and put it on. Wow, where did all my hair go? So as you can see, it doesn't really line up, but I can perfectly still see through this and just look through the upper hole. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Maybe I should correct this, point this towards the microphone. Why do I suddenly speak like this? Anyways, God. Wow. Suddenly, I transported myself up to... When I turned 50, have I pulled this off? That's not very nice. There we go. Um, let's check the seal then. Any mustache bits? No? 
No, it seems fine. Fine hair. Here it's a bit loose, but I guess you could. Oh, it's okay. I guess I could tighten it. No, I think in fact my mustache does not in fact impede me wearing the mask. If anything, it improves it. Yes, in fact, it does not impede me wearing it. Uh, in fact, I think it improves it because it's scented mustache wax. So instead of smelling my own horrible breath from eating nothing but, I don't know, what kind of rations I would have, um, I actually smell it's sandalwood and lavender smelling a little bit inside. A lot better than, you know, my breath in this case. So, yeah, it does in fact not impede me in any way. Um, still, I mean, this is leather. You would definitely, you know, create a tighter seal with some rubber or something. But at the time, I mean, I, I don't feel safe just because it's leather. But, um, yeah, it did. I mean, it looks great. It looks wonderful. I'm going to put the helmet on and we're going to see it with me when I'm wearing this with a helmet. But it looks great. I mean, it looks terrifying. If I'd see someone... Not... I mean, my hair looked like shit. But I'm going to get the helmet on, so let's fix it. So, yeah. Let's screw this thing on. And then I'm just going to show you guys uh, the entire thing while wearing the helmet. And that'll be that. And as it turns out, I might just survive the stupid French gas attack. So, let's go ahead and see. Yes, there's my helmet. Let's put it on and take a look, shall we? Anyways, that will be all for me. Bye.